Hey friends, welcome to your weekend edition of Hot News. As I mentioned during the week, we are still experimenting with the format and content and everything that we're doing still here on the Hot News channel. So while we did more full Hot News episodes during the week or even two a day on the weekends, at least the current plan is that we're gonna just do these small clips. So just one topic and give my opinion on different things. And we might change that in the future. And in fact, with Computex coming up, there's a lot that we're gonna have to restructure anyways for that. But with that being said, you all are here for the title or the thumbnail, whatever, which Whichever one baited you enough to click on this video, which is NVIDIA's response to Navi, because there are some fresh rumors out there indicating what NVIDIA has up their sleeves to counteract what they're expecting to come from Team Red. And based on the rumors, I think we can actually learn a little bit about what AMD has up their sleeves, and that is essentially not a whole lot. Or if they do, it's just not gonna be that much of a better value than what's on the market right now because as we know from NVIDIA's responses in the past, they do tend to respond when AMD comes out with the new generation of card that they think meets a demand that they are not supplying. We can take a look at things like the GTX 1063 gig, which came out after AMD had released a card. Or we could take a look at the GTX 1070 Ti, which came out after Vega. And it looks like what we're gonna get from NVIDIA at this point is just refreshed RTX cards. Yes, my friends. So about nine to 10 months after the RTX cards initially launched, that being the RTX 2080, 2080 Ti, and 2070, it seems like NVIDIA is not content to let them just sit the way they are because they're gonna give us memory upgrades because GDDR6 has apparently improved in production. And in case you don't remember, RTX cards actually had a whole bunch of issues where they would have like Space Invader stuff and they were dying all over the place because it, what was suspected was that the GDDR6 that they were using was killing the cards. But now it's better. So the rumor that's floating out there is that Nvidia is gonna be upgrading their RTX cards to just 16 gigabit per second GDDR6 as opposed to 14 gigabit per second GDDR6. Fantastic. So if this is NVIDIA's actual case and plan of action, which obviously could not be since this is just a rumor, but given the fact that NVIDIA rumors as of late have been pretty spot on ever since the RTX card rumor announcement from Adore TV, I would, I would bet that they're either gonna do nothing or they're gonna do something small like this. And that is probably because Navi doesn't have a whole lot of substance behind it, or at least the launch that AMD is gonna go for at Computex slash E3. One of the reasons that I can confidently say that is because AMD actually just talked about their roadmap in a conference call with investors showing that the plan for graphics cards this year is Radeon 7 plus Navi. So Radeon 7 still looks like it's gonna be the high-end card from Team Red, and whatever they're gonna be releasing under the Navi architecture is gonna be a more mid-tier slash value-oriented proposition. And if NVIDIA thinks that the best response to that is to just give people more value at the same price point, you can kind of see how to extrapolate that data. And considering the fact that AMD's GPU division really hasn't given us much hope as far as thinking that they're going to do something that's going to shake up the GPU industry, it actually kind of seems like they're fine playing status quo. I mean, we've talked about the RX 600 rebrand, the Radeon 7 is just kind of a status quo move, and everything that they've done in the last three to four years has been nothing but Oh yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. And so that's what I'm expecting from AMD with Navi, at least the initial iteration that we could expect in the third quarter of this year is going to be a, oh, okay, yeah, that's worth buying. In, in, in that like least enthusiastic way of handing your money over to a company. I think that's what we can expect from them based on this NVIDIA rumor. Uh, but let's talk about another thing about NVIDIA that has nothing to do with rumors, which is their first quarter financial earnings from their fiscal 2020 year. And uh, it doesn't really look that great. Jensen's saying that NVIDIA is back on an upward trajectory. We've returned to growth in gaming with nearly 100 new GeForce Max Q laptops shipping. And NVIDIA RTX has gained 
broad industry support, making ray tracing the standard for next generation gaming. It doesn't look like they've really done a whole lot, especially since uh, they're still down in revenue from what they were a year ago. They earned a billion dollars more in revenue a year ago. And uh, I mean, they're up a little bit over the last quarter. So they earned 2.21 billion in Q4, and now they've earned 2.22 billion. So big big cash revenue increases in the first quarter, of course. Obviously, NVIDIA has a whole lot going on besides gaming graphics cards that make up their portfolio, such as the automotive division, as well as deep learning and AI processing and data center stuff. But when it comes to gaming, they've really just kind of let everybody down. So I'm not surprised that they're earning a billion dollars less than they were last quarter or Q1 of 2019, which was Q1 of 2018, because that's how their fiscal years work. Anyways, yeah, because even then the mining bubble was pretty much on its decline at that point. So yeah, the RTX card's not giving a whole lot of people, giving people a whole lot of incentive to buy. They're taking claim for the fact that ray tracing is gonna be the next generation thing, but it looks like that's just because other companies are developing the hardware for it as well. And I doubt Navi, which is supposed to have hardware based ray tracing, AMD was like last second, oh, NVIDIA is going to have it. We have to do it. Like, that's not how this kind of stuff works. You don't just Sonic the Hedgehog fix it. It takes a while to implement these things. Anyways, let me know what you think of the NVIDIA rumor. Let me know what you think of the implications for Navi. Let me know what you think about NVIDIA's financial returns. I'm Brett with this little hot clip. If you want to support us, you can do so by buying one of these disc plates at displate.com forward slash UFD tech official. Enter UFD as a coupon code and you can save 15%. Also, you can support us directly on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash UFD tech. And I'm Brett with this hot news channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see your smiling faces again in the next hot news clip, which is coming out tomorrow. Love you too. Bye.